Okay, so have you ever like ordered groceries online and then like it recommends cookie dough ice cream and you're like, how did it know? Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what we're looking at today, how AI is already like changing our lives in ways we don't even realize. And uh, we're looking at this piece by AI expert Preet Kallis, 21 ways to use generative AI at home. Now, I know what you're thinking. Generative AI sounds kind of complicated, right? But basically, it's the type of AI that can like create stuff like text and images and even music. Callis says that this technology isn't just for like Silicon Valley, it's for everyone. And get this, a study found that only 39% of Americans have actually used generative AI. Yeah, that's a surprisingly low number, right? Yeah. yeah it really highlights how much AI is working behind the scenes. Yeah. I mean, most of us aren't programming AI, but we're using it every day. And here's something interesting. The article also says that more people are using AI outside of work around 33% than at work around 28%. So what's that all about? I think it really challenges our assumptions about where AI fits into our lives. Yeah. You know, we tend to think of AI as this thing that's going to like revolutionize work, but it's already impacting our personal lives in a big way. And in the article, Callis gives us like 21 examples of this. He talks about everything from using AI to make personalized workout plans to uh, even like brainstorming gift ideas. Yeah, it's like having a brainstorming buddy on demand, right? Yeah. But I think the really interesting thing here is how Callis highlights both the good and the bad sides of using AI in our everyday lives. Okay, so like where do we need to be careful about AI kind of creeping into our personal lives? Well, let's say you're planning a vacation and you use AI to plan the whole thing. It sounds great in theory, right? The AI gets to know your preferences and your budget and then boom, the perfect itinerary. It could save you a ton of time, mm -hmm. but does it take away from the fun of discovering new places? Like what about finding those hidden gems that aren't in any guidebook? Those are the kinds of questions we need to be asking. Right. It's like choosing between efficiency and spontaneity. You save time, but you might miss out on those happy accidents that make a trip memorable. Exactly. And that brings us to a really important point. AI is a tool. And like any tool, it can be used for good or bad, or even just in ways that we didn't intend. So it's not just about how we use AI, but also why. Absolutely. And speaking of mindful use, let's talk about the workplace for a second. Callis argues that AI can be beneficial even in jobs that we don't normally think of as being tech heavy. Really? Like how so? What about like a construction worker? How would they use AI? Well, imagine a construction foreman using AI to like analyze blueprints and figure out the best way to position scaffolding to make the site safer and more efficient. Or a landscaper using AI to analyze the soil and figure out which plants would thrive in that environment. So it's about making those jobs easier and safer, not replacing them all together. Exactly. And this leads to, I think, a really important point in the article. Callis argues that any task you'd ask a coworker for help with you could potentially use AI for. In fact, he says, absolutely everything you do where you could ask for advice from a friend or an older colleague can be augmented with generative artificial intelligence. It's like having a second set of eyes on your work, right? Like you said, maybe helping you see things from a different angle. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be just about like problem solving either. Think about like using AI for brainstorming or trying out different writing styles yeah. or even like composing music. The possibilities are pretty much endless. It's like AI can push you creatively to try new things and see what happens. Yeah, for sure. It's all about pushing those boundaries and seeing what you can come up with. So really, it seems like AI isn't some far off thing. It's not about robots taking over or anything like that. It's more like a fundamental shift in how we live and work and create. Absolutely. And that shift is happening right now all around us. And like Halla says, the question isn't really if AI will be a part of our lives, but how we'll choose to use it. We get to decide how we want to use these tools, right? Yeah. Like to make our lives better and reach our goals. Exactly. It's about making conscious choices about how we integrate AI into our lives. So for everyone listening, we'll leave you with this. How can you use AI to improve your own life, your work, or your creative side? Don't be afraid to play around with it. Ask questions and see where this new technology can take you. We'd love to hear your thoughts too. Connect with us on social media and tell us about your own experiences with AI. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, stay curious.